The rule of the tape goes, do not play rematches. They will come back stronger and it hurts your head. Because you wonder, well, I beat you in the first one. And then suddenly you're coming back like playing like a GM. Let's just um, bring this knight out here. And as we do, we like this one because it stops the knight from coming there. And we don't like that one. So we're going to bring the knight across, attacking the pawn, but really we're going castling. Moving a bit slower now. So two interesting games so far we've played. We're delving into rematch world. And uh, let's go for castle and keep it simple. Just take. Oh, this was like the first match, isn't it? Yeah, okay. We'll just push the pawn here. Yeah, it's very identical. We've ended up in the same position almost. Pawn here, pawn here. They'll be probably remembering, well, what did I do wrong last time? So it's brought this pawn down already. So it might be a case of me actually taking now. Because in the last game we didn't take, we brought the knight here, so I think they remembered. I'm going to hit the queen now. Deep think. Let's take the bishop. Do we need to be getting our queen off of the line somehow? I think probably bringing the. No, I don't really like that position because of his knight. I'll jump in here. Let's just push this like we did. Not really happy with this position either. And it does look a little bit kind of stronger. My bishop is like behind my own pawns. Stuck here. I'll have to bring the rook in. Get the bishop here. But I should never be unhappy about this. I do put this position here on purpose for, with the bishop. It does have that initial thing of stopping that fried liver rubbish. But then it's the different. Okay, what's this pawn move? This queen's got no protection on. How can I get to it? I want to hit this, but it's got his knight, it's got his pawn and everything there. Pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes. That's not going to be too good. Maybe bring the rook here behind. Nope. Let's go for simple. I've got like a two on one there. I mean, he's got two on one protection with his queen as well. Oh, he's looking to hit me across here somehow, you know. Let's hit the bishop. Open up our bishop. Starting a king side attack. There's no support on that attack. I need to slow down now. Damn 
Alright, they've moved the bishop. Does that win us a tempo of some sort? If we bring the bishop here, our knight, no, it's not trapped, it can come back here. So attack there, knight, with the bishop. Yeah, we do have a bit of, well, we think it's safe coming back here. He's not giving anything up, he's attacking our queen. Damn. Okay, let's... Oh, do you know what the problem is, though? I think we're going to have to move here. Because if we move there, then he pushes down onto our knight. Knight has to move. I suppose it doesn't make a difference, does it? If we went there or not. So if we go here or here, this knight takes. No, if the pawn pushes down onto the knight, knight still has to move back. Knight takes. Queen takes. Let's go here. Oh, sham. Well, he's moving quick now. It's like in, he's got something sewn up. Put a check on the king. I didn't put much thought into that. I just thought, well, this, it's blocking the queen from protecting this. But does his knight have a check on our king? It does. Is there anything else? Something there. So I'm going to take the pawn with the rook. Queen is attacking the rook. That doesn't have any protection. This king's in the corner. Knight would like to go here because it's quite nice. I think we still can probably get away with that, but maybe moving the rook first. So if we go there, we'll get a check on the king. One of the rooks takes, bishop takes. Then the rook, does the rook take again? So right here, one of the rooks takes, bishop takes, rook takes. And then the rook is still standing. I think we move the rook first, don't we? And then hope and pray that we're going to get this, but I bet it gets blocked. Maybe the bishop goes back and defends. This knight doesn't have any defense on. Um, it's defending this pawn. I'm going to have to bring it all the way back. In my heart, something's telling me that we've got a stonking position here and it's like one move away from finishing it all off. Okay, I'm going to have to bring it back, I think. Or am I not being brave enough? Knight check, rook takes, bishop takes the rook. Rook takes back, so we're up the rook in a sense, in exchange, but he does have a knight, queen, bishop, and a rook. And we've just got two flat rooks and a queen. Is that going to work for us? So a knight and a bishop for a rook. That's like um, the old fried liver thing. Is that going to work for us? Come on, it must do. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. So it does take. Does the picture look different now that we're in this situation? No, let's take. And he does take with the rook. Okay. It's unfortunate this bishop is here. So we can't save the rook, but we can attack the queen and the knight. So the queen's probably coming here to defend the knight. My queen's not really in the game though, is it? In four minutes. I 
Yep, exact position. So the finding the gold. Uh, is the credence in coming here? Really want to be on a white square to try and get the knight. Can't go here, the bishop's defending. Or is it a simple queen up and then trying to get this rook up as well? We have pawns, pawn attack. If he takes, takes, get round the back. Let's do that. Let's pawn attack. If he takes, takes, got potential for the rook coming here, putting pressure on the king. Try to get rid of tunnel vision then, because I'm so focused on the queen should be doing something. There's like a. Whoa, what's he doing? Tempting me to go here and then to get taken. In fact, my rook is trapped, you know. Ah, oh, all that hard work and my rook is damn well trapped. I'm gonna have to just take the knight. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, I didn't even see that. You don't play rematches, dude, isn't it? I'm gonna have to just take the night. Ah, oh, scandalous. No way of getting round the back. Can't even defend there. Got a massive attack here on my king. Oh my life. Oh just take it. We knew it was gonna happen in one of the rematches, didn't we? Yeah. Let's go here. Can't even get there because of the bishop. And he's got my rook. Oh let's resign that one. Let's see if it goes for it. I was giving him the game. Not seen it. I'm still giving them the game. I can't believe it. Rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board. I should have been adjusting after I'd gone for that queen, shouldn't I? Although, where was it going to go? I don't think it had anywhere to go anyway. <clears throat> One minute fifty one. Take the bishop. Right, we're in bullet mode now. A zero increment. Very clever. We take here, comes around the back. Only thing that can defend is the rook. <clears throat> and my queen is no longer supporting the um no longer supporting the rook if we do that, so I'll give it some space. There's not much options for me. So he's gonna to have to move his rook now to so probably bring it here. <coughs> oh, he could no, he can't go there. <coughs> Excuse me.
Yes, so he's brought it there. Does it change anything? Are we trying to squeeze around the back here? I don't think. We go there. We can't get to it with the queen. 50 something seconds. Mm hmm. Oh, he's joking. I don't think so, no. Let's see what this next rematch looks like right here. Yep. Let's just, just to show. Yep, 